Well, if there is one satisfaction to a Dodger fan tonight amidst all of the frustration is they will get a chance to see Mariano Rivera. Mariano, 6'2", 190. He's had 19 years in the big leagues. He has 641 saves. He's been a closer since 1997. He certainly had the Yankees win four World Series in five years. This year, Rivera, even at his tender age, has a brilliant earned run average of 1.64. He also has 33 saves. The cutter, which is a fastball that breaks, they say that his cutter breaks about eight inches. It's a remarkable pitch. Basically, it's the only pitch he throws now, and even though they know it's coming, they can't handle it. If you look at his important numbers, besides the wins and the loss, he has walked seven, and he has struck out 36. He is allowed to hit an inning, and Hanley Ramirez to start. Strike. 0 and 1. Right hand batters in their career against Rivera, they're hitting 215. Left hand batters in the career hitting 209. 0 and 2 to Hanley. In the last 15 years, Mariano Rivera has blown back to back saves 10 times in 15 years. And he's even tougher in the postseason. Ball one. In the postseason, Mariano Rivera has converted 42 of 47 opportunities. And his earned run average in the postseason is 0 0.7. Fouled away. The New York Times did a study years ago, and they said in 2001, Mariano Rivera broke 44 bats. So with that in mind, when he made his farewell appearance in Minnesota, they presented him with a rocking chair made up of broken bats. It fouled out of play. Before the game, Mariano, very much a worthwhile human being beside a baseball player, received a marvelous deep sea fishing rod. His dad was a sardine fisherman in Panama. He'd go out with him and spend all day out on the sea in the broiling sun and some days catch nothing. And now he would love to fish in his retirement. And down goes Hanley chasing a bad ball. So he really helped out. And down goes Ramirez. Mark Ellis no doubt still smarting over the error. Dodgers had some dramatic walk-offs. They've had two straight. In fact, the Dodger record three straight back in 2010. Mark Ellis last night got the base hit. The game before in the 11th inning, Puig hit the home run. Now here's Ethier. That's the cutter. Oh, and one. Ethier kind of looks over to the dugout as if say, oh, now I know. They have a, a relatively new stat. They combine walks and hits and innings pitched. They call it WHIP, W-H-I-P. The most phenomenal modern day WHIP belongs to Mariano Rivera. It's one. You have to go back to pitchers Addy Joss and Ed Walsh, and they pitched in the early 1900s, the dead ball. So whip is more like flog when it comes to Rivera and the opposition. 0 and 2. Got it. 
Epio looks at Sabat, uh, looks over at CB. So Rivera comes in and doesn't disappoint unless you're a hitter. Mark Ellis had the base hit last night, and of course last night he was a hero. Tonight, of course, they was already one to nothing in favor of the Yankees in the top fly when Puig and Ellis had problem with it, and the Yankees got two extra runs. So here is A.J. Ellis, and ball one. Mariano Rivera is such a worthwhile human being. He's made a lot of money in baseball, but he has given it back. That's just right. He built a church in his small town in Panama. He built a church in New Rochelle, New York. His wife Clara is going to be the pastor. He also spent three million dollars to buy an old church in New York. He's going to refurnish and bring that to life. And he takes the life right out of the Dodgers. Getting two strikeouts and a routine ground ball. 